I'm installing a level beam above the 2x6 ceiling joists, stick frame roof, in my house to remove a load-bearing wall. Beam will be 11 feet long, 1.75 by 9.5 inches level, sized at lumber yard. I'll be using long joist hangers, Simpson THA 218, to fasten joists to the beam. The ends of the beam will be supported to the foundation using 2x4 blocking support, multiple 2x4 studs. Project has been approved by the building inspector and permit issued. One thing I overlooked is how to attach the ends of the beam. Do I simply use the same joist hangers, or do I need to use a different hanger slash fastener to connect the beam to the 2x4 post supports in the walls below? Hi. I can help. Let me read closer. Before we get started I'd like to point out that a professional engineer's standard of care typically includes a site visit to assess field conditions and get an overall understanding of the structure. This can obviously not be accomplished through the internet. The information provided here is meant for informational purposes only, general sizing and budgeting, and is based on the information provided by you. The information should be verified by a professional engineer who can visit the site to ensure that potentially important information has not been overlooked or omitted. You won't be able to use an identical hanger, because the beam dimensions are different. Not sure I understand. Can you elaborate? Will the header be framing into the 3.5 inches side of the 2x4s or the 1.5 inches side of multiple 2x4s? The level is wider than a 2x, so it won't fit in the same hanger. The level will run perpendicular to the 2x6 joists. The joist hanger will be supporting the 1.5 inches side of the 2x6 joist, and will be face nailed to the level beam side. Right. But you're asking about supporting the beam on the 2x4s. Do you see why you can't use the same hanger you're using for the 2x6s with the level? Sorry. That's right. The beam will end on 2x6 joists that rest on top of the wall which will carry the load down to the foundation. I guess the question is do I need to use a different fastener that will tie the joist not only to the 2x6 joist, but also to the vertical 2x4 posts that will be created in the wall below. You can use a HU9 as long as the reaction doesn't exceed 2,300 pounds. I would also make sure the built-up post is adequate. Sorry for the delay, I'm looking at the HU9, and not seeing how that will work for my application. Can you upload a section sketch of exactly what your condition looks like? Yes, give me a couple of minutes. Thanks. Full size image. Full size image. The beam will actually hang over the last joist slash stud wall by at least 6 inches, so this isn't exactly right. I didn't realize that until after I uploaded it. Okay. I see your condition now. First, I would definitely add 2x6 blocking locally where it bears on the 2x6. Will this beam experience any uplift force? Makes sense. Well, that's what I'm not sure of. Can you give examples? If there is a net uplift wind load on the roof it supports. I suppose that's possible. I'm in central Kansas, so we of course can get high winds slash tornadoes. Then I would provide a light gauge strap around the top connecting down into the post. You'll need to make sure the post has a connection adequate to take the uplift into the foundation, too. The fastener size, spacing, and quantity will need to be designed once the uplift force is determined. 
That makes sense. Thanks. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.